you might have seen my videos on making small boats and tiny vibrobots. The links are in the description in case you want to check them out. If you notice, we have used button cells and making a holder for the cells is a bit of a pain. The single button cell holder came to the rescue but it also needs to be soldered to a tiny switch. Then we use thermoplastic in some of our projects to make the button cell holder. Now I have found this really simple and effective button cell holder which has an inbuilt switch in it. It's compact and can accommodate two CR3032 button cells of 3 volt, totaling 6 volt output. Let's see if we can use this battery holder to improvise some of our previous designs. Before starting the project, the tiny switch is set in the off mode. The positive side of the button cell is aligned to the positive mock on the battery. The process is repeated for the negative side as well. Just snap the cover and you are good to go. If the wire is getting short, we can always flip the back side, open the cover and solder the wires as required, which we will do for one of the hacks. For this wire robot, I prefer leaving the wires like this. One of these flat vibrator motor needs to be connected. The wires are too fragile for a wire stripper, so it's best to burn them with a lighter and quickly peel the insulation. A small piece of heat shrink tubing is inserted. If you don't have it, use some insulation tape once the connection is made. Then we go for a quick check and it works good. The next is to glue the back of the battery pack. The legs were made using some paper clips and glued to the battery pack as well. It's better to leave access to the cell to change it later. The robot is functional at this stage. I chose to add some LEDs to make it more interesting. Add more drama by printing the image of a bug. I chose a cockroach. Make sure the printout is bigger than this battery pack. The printout has to be stuck on the battery pack. Of course you can get solar bugs like these. But making something like this is always a fun. I'm sure you can make better stuff. So good luck with that. With this battery pack you can also make a very quick and easy flashlight. For this, I'm avoiding these LEDs which heat up really fast. These old LEDs would do a fine job. Tape them or hot glue them to the battery pack and connect them with the correct polarity. Gluing a neodymium magnet can make its use even more versatile and now it can be mounted in a lot of different ways and in unusual places. Grab a tiny motor, such as this, and a tiny propeller. If you don't have one, you can always make one with an aluminium can by cutting thin strips and twisting its ends like this. Then this can be glued to the motor shaft. Using foam boards, I cut a few pieces to make a shape as shown. This is simply to mount the motor at a height so that the propeller blade won't touch the water. Then the motor is glued to this assembly and the whole setup is attached to the battery pack. The connections are made at this stage and it looks like a tiny fan. Make sure the polarity of the motor is in such a way that it pushes air outwards. Although it does not have much strength, it can surely propel a tiny boat. I made the hull first on a chart paper to see if it works. It's simple geometry and nothing fancy. Then this was traced to the aluminum sheet obtained from the aluminum can. It was then cut and shaped to form the hull. Some epoxy to seal the joints and a coat of spray paint would make this project more interesting. With that done, the motor assembly is glued in the hull and the boat is ready for its maiden voyage. I also added a rudder to steer the boat. The next on the list is making a tiny car. Don't sweat it out to look for a tiny wheel. A few pieces cut from your hot glue stick would do the job. It's very easy to cut as well. This wheel is simply pinched onto the motor shaft. This is done for two motors. For the front wheels, a safety pin is clipped and this is inserted into a tube. Since the motor are going to be facing opposite, the polarity of one of the motor needs to be reversed. The motors and the front wheel are assembled on the battery pack. The wires are then concealed with insulation tape and we have a tiny car ready to roll. 